everyone. If you'll remember from Monday, we set up an agility ladder and I showed you several different variations. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use it and we're gonna do multiple foot, foot work, foot patterns to uh, help stimulate the brain, get the muscles moving, get the joints moving in all kinds of different directions. So stay tuned and we'll get started on that and you'll learn something new. Today, we're gonna to start with our, our basic movement and if you've been viewing, or if you've worked with me before in person, you'll know that we, we beat this one to death. But there's a reason why we do it. So today, we're going to, I'm gonna to try to confuse you. So let's go ahead and do a couple of rounds of what we've been doing, the traditional three-point lunge pattern, okay? And then I'll show you how we're gonna mix this up a little bit and make it a little more challenging. All right, let's do two more rounds. Toes straight ahead. Remember, rotate your head with your body if you feel comfortable and you feel safe, okay? One more round. Forward, and lateral. And then our rotation. Okay, so let's go through the movements and let's name them, okay? And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. So let's go forward left, forward right, lateral left, lateral right, rotation left, and rotation right, okay? So we could probably, you could view me doing this for the next hour and I guarantee you could check out and you could probably follow along with me without even thinking about it. So the goal of this is to get you to think about it and get you to react and help to improve your reaction time. So this time I'm gonna say forward left, lateral right, rotation right, Okay, so I want you to, to react. You're not gonna be the same pattern every time. I'm gonna try to confuse you. I'm gonna try to throw you off a little bit. Remember, when you're doing the rotational, you know, open up to a position where you feel comfortable and feel stable. So don't challenge it so much that you feel unsafe and you lose your balance, okay? So, so go to your level, go to your range. So let's get started, okay? So forward right, lateral right. Rotational left, forward left, lateral left, lateral left, forward right, rotation right, lateral right, forward left, rotational right, lateral left, lateral right, Lateral left, lateral right, lateral forward. I mean, ugh, I screwed it up this time. Forward left, <laughs> forward right, lateral right, rotational left, lateral left, forward right, lateral right, rotational right, rotational left, Forward left, lateral right, lateral left, rotational left, forward right, and rest. Okay, let's do a few arm movements and some rotation, and then we'll get started. So forward for 10. Let's go back for 10. And you're going to hug yourself and alternate each time. And finally, let's rotate the trunk. Okay, not just about swinging the arms and the shoulders. I want to move the trunk of my body 
let my head turn unless I get dizzy. If that makes you dizzy, you look straight ahead and rotate the trunk as much as you can. Okay, should all be warmed up. Let's get going. So last time I showed you how to make one of these and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I suggested using masking tape to put strips every 12 to 15 inches or so. Um, nothing too tall to where you risk stepping on um, anything that's gonna move easy if you happen to step on it. So I want you to keep this as safe as possible. The, the other option is don't worry if you, if you are tuning in for the first time you didn't see last episode and you didn't know anything about this at all, you can still do the patterns. You can kind of visualize the length of this ladder. You can visualize the individual squares. So if you did make this, again, you didn't have to make complete perfect squares, just strips of paper, strips of tape, something to make as close to this as you possibly can. And now we're going to show you how to mix it up and, and have a little fun with this. So we're going to do our first pattern, okay? So if you're looking from the front, what I'd be doing in, in here is kind of get a, the idea of a dance move in your head. Um, in, in, out, or one, two, three. One, two, three, just like that. One, two, three, but I'm advancing forward, okay? So now let's, let's put that to the ladder. So I'm gonna stay on the side, okay? So I'll do it slow. One, two, three. I'm gonna advance to the next. One, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. This is great for lateral movement, getting good mobility in the hips. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Turn, and we're gonna go back. Now again, remember, make sure that whatever you're using is safe. And if you don't have that, I can still do it. One, two, three, advance forward. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can still do it, I still do the patterns. I just don't have the ladder set up. Okay, let's do it again. So here, and this is a great one that you can set up. If you have a place you can set this up and leave it and do this often. You could listen to the radio, see if you can do this for maybe 10 minutes with the different patterns I'm gonna show you. It's a nice little workout. Okay, turn, let's go back. Do it one more time. And then we'll go back and review them all. Okay. In, in, out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that, okay? Now, let's make it a little more challenging. So we're gonna basically weave in and out of this, this ladder. So I'll cue you, and then I'll have you kind of do it on your own. So we're gonna go right inside the square, first one. Left inside the next square. Right on the outside of the square. So this is your third square, okay? We're gonna skip over and go left and right and left out, and we're gonna do it again. So this next, next will be just like we finished, we started with. So here, right inside, left inside, right outside, okay? Let's do it again. So let's just take and grow and we'll start with our right. So right inside, left inside, right outside, all the way over. Left inside, right inside, left outside, all the way over. Right in, left in, right out. Let's do it again. Right in, left in, right out, all the way over. Left, right in, left out, all the way over. Right in, left in, and right out. Okay, one more time. Let's get this in our brains. Right inside, left inside, right outside. Left inside, right inside, left outside. Right inside, left inside, and right outside. Okay? Now, our next pattern, we're just gonna, I call it toe taps. So you don't have to sprint through the, the ladder, but what I want you to do is just try and stay accurate. That's the most important part of this. 
in, 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 hit each one, okay? And try to stay on the balls of your feet if you feel comfortable and safe, okay? So the accurate, consistent movement is what we're looking for. So tap, 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 tap. Remember, if you're using something it's a little raised, make sure it's something safe that you can actually step over, okay? So again, tap, 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 okay? Fast as safe as you feel comfortable moving, but stay consistent. Hit each square, so don't skip any squares, don't step over, okay? Okay, just like that. All right. Now, let's move lateral one more time. Inside, and you're gonna counter it, okay? Here, here. Again, consistent steps. Try not to lift too high. We're just trying to get more lateral movement in the hip. Okay, start back. Here. Okay, good, solid, consistent movement. Okay, so our lateral movement. Now, let's do a little bit higher knee, okay? And we're gonna try to work our way all the way down, one foot inside square. So here, if you feel comfortable and safe getting it all the way to 90 degrees, by all means, but that's not our focus. Our focus is to get some knee flexion here, okay? And just try and find, so we're getting some balance here. Now, if you need to set up your ladder to where you can hang on to something to do some of these, that's completely okay. And if you don't want to use the ladder, if you have a counter space or something you can hang on to, to where you can go and lift that knee And you don't want to arch your back, okay? So I want to try and lift. So if this is my range that I can go to without having to go into extension of my spine, that's your range, okay? So let's go through. So we're going to do down and back with each pattern, okay? So our first one, in, in, out, in, in, out, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Remember, you don't have to use the ladder at all. You can just try and stay with these consistent steps. It's really about the movement. This is just something that gives you a visual. Okay, we're gonna go back with it. In, in, out. Start on the side when you're doing it because it kind of imprints it in your, in your brain. In, in, out. If you feel like getting a little faster with it, go a little faster. You don't have to sprint through here, okay? Now, let's do our weave. So, right inside, left inside, right out. Left inside, right inside, left out. Right inside, left inside, right out. Let's do it again. Right inside, left in, right out. Left, right, left out, right left and right out, okay? Let's do our toe taps. Keep it safe. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, keep your balance. Go to speed that feels comfortable for you, but hit each square, okay? Good job, now let's go lateral again. So you want to step with enough space for my left foot to come in here. Okay, so this is really about just consistent movement. Getting some lateral motion, but I want to find a good rhythm and a good cadence. Here. I don't want to elevate too much. I want to step just enough to clear my whatever you're using to space out. Okay, now let's do our, our lift. Okay, remember, 
We're balancing on that other foot. Here. Don't worry about getting too high. Just try and work on a little balance. Okay. And that speed is just fine. So let's go finish off with our last round of the knee raises. Very nice work. So we'll be doing this again um, from time to time, but feel free if you have a space to set this up and you can leave it and you want to work on it more often, you can review this and, and, um, and watch these patterns. And then again, this is really great for the body. It's also really great for the brain. It's like doing a Sudoku puzzle, um, but you're moving doing it. Hello everyone. We just finished up our agility ladder. Great job. And now let's do some of our basic exercises. We're going to do a few things with some rotation. We're going to do a few variations of what we've been normally doing. So instead of a squat today, let's do our curtsy lunge. We've done this a couple of times now. And we're going to do one minute circuits today. So remember our curtsy, just like we were going to curtsy to the queen. So our front heel is down. Okay, so when we move into this, it's here. If you feel comfortable doing this without, um, using a stable surface, just shorten up the range a little bit, okay? Make sure the majority of your weight's on that front leg. So I recommend using something that you can hang on to, and we've talked about it before, kitchen counter, really stable, sturdy um, uh, dining table or railing, okay? So we're gonna do one minute of our curtsy, and then this time we're gonna do our push-up with that rotation that we've done. So you're gonna push, rotate. If you can get all the way around to where my hand is directly over my shoulder, shoulder to hand, that perfect line with the head turning, perfect. If not, you can shorten up your range, okay? Try to come off a little bit, push, come off. And if you need to, you can even bend your elbow a little bit, okay, to keep your balance and keep everything a little closer to the center line. So here, here, or full push up with the rotation and line everything up. So we're going to do our push up, and then we're going to do just curls for a minute today. Okay, no press overhead. And then we're going to do or what I call the chop. So it's really a little bit different than a squat. Squat, the focus is, is really loading the hips and the glutes. Whereas with a chop, it's kind of like if I was gonna do a deadlift, the focus is hinging at the waist and then extending the hips up. So if you see your hips kind of like a pendulum, so I'm doing this, so I'm bending, but I'm not rounding my shoulders, okay? So you don't wanna get sloppy with your with your shoulders and your back. You wanna be stay nice and straight. So I'm just gonna to lift to here, okay? I'm initiating this movement by pushing my hips back. Again, I don't wanna load my knees. That's the danger zone. I wanna load my hips, okay? And then bring the dumbbell or a bottle of water or a can, whatever we're using. And we don't necessarily need to use weight. We can actually use you can just interlace your hands and do this. Or if you want, you can just reach to your knees and extend the hips. So this is really about hinging at the waist, which is a little bit more than you would for squat. And it's about hip extension. So the mobility of your hips, okay? And then we'll also do what we did last week, which is that rotational movement, okay? But today we're not gonna go as high. So usually we go about chin level. Today I want to keep it a little bit lower and we're going to keep it right around chest to shoulder height. Okay. So we'll shorten it up a little bit and we'll rotate because we're going to be doing it for 30 seconds to one side and then 30 seconds to the other. So one minute circuits. We're going to do our curtsy lunge for alternating for one minute. 
go to our push-up rotation for one minute. Then we'll go to just curls. Then we're going to do our chop or our swing for one minute. And then we'll do 30 seconds in one direction. And when I say halfway, we'll go 30 seconds in the other. Okay? So let's get started. We'll do our curtsy in three, two, one, and go. Remember, it doesn't matter how deep you go. All we're trying to really do here is activate that glute. Strong, stable hips. Keep going. I remember I'll give you a halfway mark. Okay. If you feel like going really deep and trying it, hang on to your surface. Keep your balance. Halfway. And we'll be going through this entire circuit twice. Keep it going. Really feel that grounded leg. Really feel that glute working. Okay. A larger majority of the weight is on that front leg. Almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's do our push up with the rotation. Okay, remember, you can keep it short. I'll show you several different angles or uh, ranges. Ready in three, two, one, and go. So full push up, full rotation, turn and look. Rotate. I can also stop in this range. Whatever you feel comfortable. It's all about the push up and then getting a little bit of that trunk rotation. So we're getting a little bit more rotational movements halfway than we were last time. Last time was a lot more linear. Three, two, one, and switch. So remember today we're just staying with the curl. So if you do the curl and press, and if anyone counts their reps, which I don't require anyone to do, um, you should be able to get a few more curls. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, make sure you're not swinging. If you have to swing, and arch your back to get it up, then it's definitely too heavy for you. So keep it, keep it light. Curl. So. Don't drop that chin too much. Don't look up halfway. Try to look straight ahead. Three, two, one, and switch. And we're going to go to our, our chop. Remember, you don't have to use weight. If you do, you can use a dumbbell, you can use a bottle of water, you can use a can. Okay, so we're going to hinge. Three, two, one, go. Remember, don't round in the shoulder. You don't want the spine to look like that. Up tall. I'm doing basically doing a squat, but instead of loading this way more, I'm going to shift my focus by hinging just a little bit more in the waist. Real important movement. You can also do it without. So halfway, interlace your hands, however you want to do it. But you want to get to about your knee level without rounding your shoulders. Okay, keep the chest up. Push back, hinge at the waist, and extend the hips. So imagine if I was gonna jump up onto this stage. 
Okay, it would require extending my hips. Three, two, one, and switch. We're gonna do our rotation. Remember, we're not gonna go as high today. Keep it a little bit lower. Keep the shoulders from working so hard. And you can even twist your toe a little bit if you want. Three, two, one, and go. And remember, we're gonna switch directions when I say halfway. If you feel comfortable turning your head with your hands, do so. If not, look straight ahead. You can still get pretty good amount of rotation that way. But just don't use the momentum of your arms and shoulders to swing. That's not our focus. Our focus is the trunk. Halfway. So switch. Kind of stay in a symmetrical squat. So try not to bend forward on this side. I'm going to stay kind of evenly over my feet. Three, two, one, and switch. We're going to go back to our curtsy lunge. So if you'll notice in every, pretty much every routine that we do, we're doing some squatting, we're doing some lunging, hinging at the waist, some pushing, we've done some pulling movements with the dumbbells, and then we're doing rotation. So squatting, bending, lunging, pushing, pulling, and rotation. Um, movements that we've been doing for thousands and thousands of years. So let's go back to our curtsy, and that's our kind of our lunge pattern for the day. Three, two, one, go. You don't have to go too deep. My only focus is to stimulate this hip and this glute. My front heel's down. So I don't need to go very deep to recruit those muscles. But if you can go a little deeper, keep experimenting. And the goal of this is to try to improve. So next couple weeks, halfway, if you can get a little deeper and your range improves and your strength improves, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Three, two, one, and let's go to our push up and rotation. Three, two, one, and begin. If you are getting a little fatigued, you can just stay with a push up, okay? Or you can shorten your range a little bit. Just come off of your stable surface. A little bit, a little bit of rotation, or keep the range going. Halfway. Remember, when you're doing your push up, don't elevate, don't stress that neck, don't have your head drop down like this. Don't elevate, don't extend too much in your cervical spine, okay? Push, rotate if you need to widen your stance a little bit so you feel a little more stable, a little safer. That's okay too. Three, two, one, and our curl. Two more exercises to go. Three, two, one, and go. So no overhead today to give a little break. Do some curls. Don't swing them, okay? So going down with a curl is just as important as coming up, okay? So if I'm doing my curl, I'm shortening my muscle here, I'm doing concentric. If I'm coming out, I'm doing eccentric. So I'm lengthening that muscle, okay? So lengthening a muscle is just as important as shortening a muscle to get it stronger. Halfway. Don't swing. 
pull them up and control them on the way down. Again, if you have to arch your back to get them up, it's way too heavy. From the side. If rotating your wrists a little bit feels uncomfortable, you can keep what I call the hammer grip, okay? And I can just keep them here. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, rotation, not as high as we did last week, last uh, episode. Three, two, one, and go. And remember, we're gonna switch halfway. Symmetrical squat. You don't even have to squat that much. Just bend the knees a little bit. Halfway, okay, switch your direction. I'm right-handed, so going in the direction that we began with feels a lot more natural for me. If you're left-handed, this side's probably gonna feel a lot more natural. But it's important to do both. Three, two, one. Great job. So we learned did a little bit of variations today. And we learned the agility ladder. Feel free to, if you use tape, feel free to keep it. Um, probably don't want to leave books in your floor if that's what you've used. But you can do those patterns that we did without anything. Um, you can kind of imprint that ladder or that pattern in your head and uh, do it whenever you want. Feel free to rewatch these and repeat the routine uh, another day of the week. But bottom line is keep active, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.